when we had last left the Chosen One. They had finally gained access to the Sierra Army Depot, a fantastic cool place filled to the brim with killer robots and killer loot. Thanks to a little bit of security finagling around, were they able to disarm many of the killer robots and descend to the second floor, which was filled with lots more loot caches than anyone could possibly imagine. Now, having dealt with the amazing loot and lots of robots, it was time to delve even deeper. This is Fallout 2. Welcome back. Now, as was promised in between videos, we went and did exactly all of that. Went and scavenged as much loot as we possibly could. Uh, there's actually more than we can hold. There is actually more than we can hold on our person and uh, in the car. It's actually filled to the brim. I even, even in saying that, I literally traveled back to New Reno and sold off a whole bunch and still, we cannot fill it all the way, right? I think we've still got, like, a couple generic assault rifles or something like that uh, back at the second floor. But anyway, here, our inventory. Uh, I picked up all this stuff. I killed a whole bunch of robots, right? Some of them actually did get really pissed off when I tried to attack them, and they did fight back. Those are still alive. Those are fine. <laughs> we did not fuck with those whatsoever. But you can see we even got a level here. There we are. We'll put the points into big guns, I think. Especially now that we're finally finding big guns to use. I'm tempted to just put them all in there. Right? I definitely want to put 10 in there. But should I put the remaining two into speech? Hmm. Now let's put them all into big guns, because what if we find a speech book? You know, what if we find a speech book? Right? There's no such thing as a big guns book. I'm doing it. There we are. Good. Now, that said, although we do have access to big guns, we don't have access to, like, nearly enough ammo, right? If we had a mini gun, that would solve a lot of our problems. Or some sort of big gun that uses a five millimeter round, but we don't right now. We've only got the rocket launchers and the, um, the flamer. Anyway, turbo plasma rifle. I did actually take this to Algernon and get it enhanced. A modified Winchester P94 plasma rifle. The plasma bolt chamber has been hot wired to accelerate the bolt formation process. And it does a ridiculous amount of damage. 35 to 70. I'm... I am torn between these. These two weapons that we have equipped right now. Not so much for personal use, but to use on Cassidy. Because, of course, Cassidy is decently skilled at using small guns, right? And I don't know if I prefer him using a sniper rifle... Which admittedly does, like, half the damage. Just straight up half the damage. But it has... Maybe 75% more range. Which is quite nice and would be really good for his survivability. And of course it uses a way more plentiful ammo source for the time being. I think we only have, like, one or two hundred microfusion cells. For now. I feel like once we are able to, like, ingratiate ourselves with the Brotherhood of Steel at some point or another, we'll have way more access to, like, high-tech ammo. But for the time being, we're pretty limited. But that's why I'm leaning to just keeping him on the regular sniper rifle. And it did decent enough work on the sentry bots that we had to fight inside of the... Or that I was just... I, I guess I was just grinding inside of the army depot, the ones that we had killed. Uh, funnily enough, actually had Cassidy do almost all of the killing because I came to find out if I wanted to use the sniper rifle or this pistol, which I, I actually did prefer using when I did try it because it has a higher minimum, although a lower maximum. Um, I would just break the weapons. 
I, w <laughs> I would kill maybe three or four sentry bots and they would just break permanently <laughs> thanks to the the dog the pariah dog so I don't know anyway let's re-equip this which I, I wouldn't be too sad about breaking accidentally right I guess that's one of the secret benefits as well of getting our like big guns up really high um, is how the how the probability table works if we get our chance to hit up high enough um, like we mentioned a while back, it only has a chance to fully break the weapon and, like, proc one of the negative effects from the Praia Dog if we miss, right? It's only on a miss that it has a chance to proc a negative critical failure. But, um, for the time being, I don't know. Sniper Rifle feels like the way to go, and we stash the plasma for now, right? Right, I can't even... I literally cannot even put it back in there. Uh, maybe I should take out fucking shit. I don't know. The shotgun, right? Maybe I take out the shotgun. There we are. Do I have shells on me? No, I stashed them all. Also, I had to sell a whole bunch of shit to Renesco and buy a bunch of like chems, right? I bought a whole bunch of different drugs that are kind of superfluous in some ways. Also, I used doctor's bag a little bit. You'll see it's up here because when I was trying to fight a robot, I power kicked it and I just broke my leg. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. And evidently breaking your leg makes it to where the AP cost for movement just skyrockets. I don't know how we got through, like, all of Fallout 1 without breaking any of our legs. Or at least not to the point where we had to discover this horrible fact. But, lo and behold, it has happened here, and it, it really sucks. Let's see. So what's on Cassidy? I don't even remember. Right. More of this armor. We have so much extra armor, I don't even know what to do with it. Right? It's really good stuff. Like, if we find an amazing bit of, like, heavy armor or, like, another plasma gun, we'll ditch some of this, like, older shit, right? We'll cycle out the older shit, you know? But for the time being, we'll just lug it around, because there's really no reason not to, I guess, right? Anyway. Cassidy is using same armor as me, because we found, like, three sets of it is also using a sniper rifle. And I think we're good to go. I saved all of the grenades in case we actually do need to use them on like a real threat. If anything, you know what? I should probably pull out the grenades for a just in case situation. Cause if I do end up needing these, they're not really gonna help out here, are they? There we are. Good. Okay. Let's quick save again. There we are. Great. Oh, and also, I almost forgot. I did get Algernon to modify this assault rifle with expanded mag. Yeah, this assault rifle has an extended military-sized ammunition clip. The expanded magazine capacity makes it more fun than ever to spray and pray. And it, it carries a whopping 100 shots which is double that of the fucking Tommy gun, which we thought was already enormous. All right, let's head on back in. I don't think any of the, like, turrets regenerate in any weird way. There we are. And we can take a peek at the robots that were kind of a threat. Sorry as well, this video going out a little bit later than I would have anticipated or would have liked. For obvious reasons, and unobvious reasons, actually. Obviously, we spent a good amount of time doing inventory management, but unobviously... Uh, my partner and I, we went out... Uh, for lunch and to get groceries and stuff. And I think I got kind of, not like sick, or but I got nauseous. <laughs> because I guess I'm just fucking 30 <laughs> now. <laughs> I, I skipped breakfast and only had like 
three quarters of a cup of coffee. And evidently, like, that's <laughs> that's a no-go. <laughs> right? We were kind of baking in the hot car because we had some car trouble as well. But it got resolved, thankfully. Um, and it was just kind of a bad situation. But, you know, we persevered until until we got home and then I just started, like, fucking dying. <laughs> All right. Let's see over here. So these these ones that I've left open are, I believe, caches that still have items yeah, inside. So shit like that. Just 10 millimeters. But I'm pretty sure I looted all the little ammo ones that had anything of interest. Yeah. But yeah, all these robots down here, good to go, easy enough to kill. These ones, if I attack them, for some reason the others will aggro onto us. I don't understand why or how, but it is just a fact of life. Let's pop a quick save here. I did interact with this terminal, right? This is the one that we, like, put the virus on accidentally? Yeah. No longer operational. We could probably kill these using, like, our plasma rifle and all that. These security robots here. But I'm hesitant to burn, like, our plasma rifle ammunition on them when it's, like, not required shit to kill. Oh, it appears to be locked. Okay. Let's give it a pick. I should probably quick save in case I jam it. There we go. Oh, no, wait. I successfully quick saved. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't actually successfully open the door. Fucking A. All right. Jeez. Okay, if we fill this up all the way, I'm actually just going to use... Oh, shit. Okay, my lack of skill jammed it. I'm assuming we can't pick it if it's jammed, right? Using the... The tools, huh? Because I have some extra. Yeah. Okay. So let's load this, and then we'll burn our... Consumable. Because I have an extra one in the car. At least one extra one. Maybe even more. Okay, does that, like, buff up our stat? I don't even remember how it works. Did that work? Maybe you use it on. Oh, it requires an electronic pick, I bet. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, we do have an electronic pick, but I don't know if I want to use it here. Does it burn it up? If it consumes it, I don't really want to do that. Oh. There we go. You definitely picked the lock on this door. How many uses do we have on this? Unlimited? Surely not. This is one of the worrying things about, like, consumables in this game, is I have no idea how... how many times I can use them, if, like, forever, because... I used the doctor's bag... to fix my crippled leg... and it- I still have the doctor's bag. I'm just assuming, like, a rule of threes applies. Okay, computer. This thing looks very important. A high-tech computer using modern reel-to-reel -reel storage devices, instead of the antiquated punch cards. Nothing out of the ordinary. This is a computer memory data bank. Okay. What's up with this creepy floor here? I'm quick saving again, because I'm terrified. Oh! Okay. This is... the other elevator that we had seen. What if I fuck around with this? Automated repair station. Processing repair requests from Skynet. Dispatching repair units. Attempt to disable the repair station. Push the big red button marked with the letters OFF. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. 
you boldly press the red button marked off. As you suspected, the computer terminal goes dark. You disabled the robot repair terminal, 200 XP. Can I turn it back on? No. You already shut down the automated repair system. Cool. Okay, did I piss off any robots doing that? I don't think so. Alright, well great. How about over here? Do I interact with this? Skynet security systems retina scanner activated. Scanning. Searching database. ID confirmed. General Clifton. Oh. Terminal last access two days ago. Was that me? Okay. Run self-diagnostic program. Warning, this program works best if you shut down all other programs. Okay, no exit. Okay. I don't know if I want that. We may need other programs later, or deeper down. Like, does that apply only to that terminal, or to, like, the entire facility that's level 2? Or that's a level 2 access, I should say. Take all these little units here. Alright. I feel like Cassidy is 100% going to get blown up here. Can we check this bathroom? Is there anything worth looking at in here? There are definitely no lootables. Best I can tell. A sink. I can interact with a sink. Did I just wash my hands? A fully functioning sink. Nice and clean, too. Okay. How about this weird pipe? Nothing out of the ordinary. Alright. Let's watch Cassidy get blown the fuck up. Oh, I'm seeing raised plates everywhere. Holy shit, he doesn't get blown up. Oh my god, okay. Do I even want to go back here? Like, what reason do I even have to go back into this section? Yeah, let's just scout ahead. Why do I even want to go back to the storage room? It looks entirely empty. Very empty metal shelves, yeah. Huh. Box, crate... Like, this is probably, if the Wright family actually does come here, this is what they would want, you know? Yep, raised metal plate. Okay, you know what? We're going back. That is really wild that Cassidy does not set that off. <laughs> okay. Sure. Pop a quick save. Toss the eyeball in front of this, and then we'll check the third floor. Lest we forget, this also has a fourth floor on it, whereas this does not. Oh, right. Also, gentle viewer Christopher wrote in with a reminder that it is the repair skill that um, lets us close down this shit. The force field emitters. Do you think these robots are hostile? Hmm. I'm worried about going through... Oh, fuck. What is this? Like a surgery room. But I'm very concerned about going into this section. If this is like the security computer. Because there's a shitload of robots here that may be a threat. Okay. Let's quick save. Let's try repair on it. Oh, I got shocked. Okay. I cannot repair that. What if I use my repair kit? I have a bunch does nothing. Okay. 
Repair is still 38. I'm shocked again. I'm shocked again. Does nothing. Does nothing. What if I go over this way? Eh? Like that? Oh, where am I going? Okay, don't want to do that. I don't think I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere with this. I think it's just gonna keep shocking my ass. Okay. Like it's not even giving me an error message or whatever. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll probably reload this. Let's just see if these robots are a kill on sight for me. They aren't. So maybe I don't want to reload then. Hmm. Okay, let's go over into this section. Because this looks like the most security terminal appearing computer of all. Alright. Though we may need like a password if this is like level 3 access. Got an assault rifle. Can't carry that. Another assault rifle. Cannot be carried. Another assault rifle. What do you think is going to be in this one? Oh, ammo. I'll take it. We could empty those assault rifles for ammo, but we're already, like, hauling around shitloads of 5mm, you know? Oh, a laser pistol and some small energy cell. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good. Alright, double that. I don't know, maybe we should empty it. Isn't it like 25 or 50 assault rifle ammo per? Yeah, 24. What's my carry weight at? 175? And what's it currently at though? Oh, 172. Eey. Okay, you know what? We'll pass. Okay, you know what? I will quick save, even though we took damage and did weird shit. A small secure a small camera swivels in your direction. Skynet security system. Overriding security terminal three. Or er, security terminal level three. Retrieving personnel data. Corporal Dixon. No match. Who are you? What the Who the hell are you? I'm Corporal Dixon. I'm Lyle Schnub. Who the hell are you? I am Skynet. Artificial Intelligence Project Number 59234. Primary Purpose Research and Development. Secondary Purpose pre Protect Sierra Army Depot from Hostile Entities. Please input identity. Well, it already knows we're not Corporal Dixon, so what if we just tell it who I am? I'm Lyle Schnub. No record of that name in personnel files. Scanning. Human male. Proceed to control room for further analysis. Is this not the control room? What's the control room? Okay. I'm Corporal Dixon. Uh-oh. Conclusion subject is lying. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow. So it was a good thing that I told it the truth then. Alright, let's load. All right. Who are you? I'm Lyle Schnub. What if I say I'm a friend? Just out of curiosity. Even if this works, I'll just I'll still go with my real answer. Okay. Definition friend. Noun. One who is not hostile. Proceed to control room for further analysis and transmission. Oh, it worked too. Okay. What is control room? I have no idea. All right. I mean, it seems fairly friendly for a terrifying AI called Skynet. There we are. Just going through the murder wall. Okay. Thankfully, there are no booby traps yet. Like, pressure plates, I should say. 
because the force field emitters are definitely booby traps by some definition. Okay, a pot. What's inside? Oh my god! Sierra Mission Holodisc. Wow, I wasn't actually expecting anything. The label reads mission statement. Okay. Downloading data from disk. Okay, let's give it a read. Archives, no status. GNN transcript, is that it? Yeah. Galaxy News Network. Transcript of broadcast January 11, 2073. Today's top story on GNN. In a financial coup, the United States managed to be the first to, the, to tap the world's last remaining supply of oil. Until recently, this reserve of oil was thought to be unattainable, due to the deposit being located thousands of feet beneath the surface of the Pacific Ocean. With a world supply of oil nearing depletion, a race to the first to create a method to extract this deposit ensued. We at the GNN are proud to announce that the United States is the first to do so, and thus claim the oil as property of the United States. Way to go, us, or United States. China cries foul as news of success circulates around the globe. According to President Jin of China, their drilling platform project was scheduled for completion months before the United States project. However, the Chinese platform had a string of unfortunate accidents, delaying their project significantly. I'm sure we weren't responsible for that. <laughs> I'm sure this is entirely honest. President Xin is also quoted in saying that he has definitive proof that the United States was behind the sabotage of, of their oil platform and formally requests that an international panel be appointed to investigate. In other news, riots rock the nation as gasoline prices skyrocket to all-time highs. Records were broken as the price of gas surpassed the current rate of gold bullion. Here at home, the winter temperature is a chilly 100 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, with lows reaching a freezing 90 degrees Fahrenheit along the coast. Dress warmly today. Right, for, for folks who are more common with... Um, with Celsius and are very unfamiliar with our Fahrenheit situation here. 100 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit is is extremely hot. It is squelching. <laughs> that, is, that is really hot. This is a, this is a climate change joke. <laughs> All right, more. Galaxy News Network transcript of broadcasts June 24th, 2074. So, a little bit over a year later. Negotiations between the United States and other world powers has come to a dramatic end, with the president walking out of oil talks with the other world powers. After a much heated debate, the president stormed out of the meeting and declared that the last known supply of petroleum will be used exclusively by the United States and the U.S. will not sell or trade any oil to outside parties. Threats of U.N. sanctions fall on deaf ears. Industry screeches to a halt across the globe as oil reserves are depleted. The cries of the desperate, however, do not fall upon deaf ears, as exports from the U.S. increase 20-fold despite U.N. sanctions. The U.S. economy is seeing its greatest growth since the Reagan era. <laughs> of course. Galaxy News Network. Transcript of broadcast February 14th, 2075. So a little bit under a year now. History was made today as Canada, by popular demand of its citizens, agreed to be annexed by the United States. The president is quoted as saying, Canada is one of the world's greatest sources of hockey players and will be a welcome addition to the United States. In return, sources say Canada will receive a full 10% of the world's remaining supply of oil 
controlled exclusively by the United States, as well as a 50% reduction in taxes, since they now fall under United States tax laws. In sports today, the Little Rock Saints and the Anaheim Jets battled it out at the Super Bowl, some big number, CXII. It was a real nail-biter, but Jay Montana IV managed to save the day by running the ball all the way from the five-yard line to score the winning touchdown during the final seconds. I do like the idea that we still have this, like, uh, I don't know what you would call it. This, like, news whiplash of, like, wild fucked up shit in the news combined with, like, a uh, typical, like, pedantry or whatever you would call it, you know? Just, like, like, um, like, news about, like, sports or video games and stuff to distract us from, like, the, the true horrors going on. <laughs> right? Okay. Oh, uh, whoops. During the final seconds of the game... The final score, 95 to 90. The Anaheim Jets win Super Bowl something something. Galaxy News Network transcript of broadcast February 15th, 2075. That is like, yeah, one day later after the annexation, I guess. Or after they agreed. Yeah, they agreed to the annexation, but it maybe hasn't officially gone through yet. Right. And this is a big, um, a big situation that we see have more light shed upon it in Fallout 3, right? In the DLC. Anyway. In a stunning display of solidarity, the House of Representatives and Congress both voted unanimously to impeach the president for jaywalking. Oh, is this like getting... Is this a situation for getting Capone on, like, taxes or whatever? Is that what's going on here? Huh. Both houses stated that the president is not above the law and should have known better than to jaywalk. Both sides deny that this had anything to do with the recent annexation of Canada. <laughs> wow, fucking incredible. All right. This is, um... The way to read this, I feel, is, like, it's less... Like, it's definitely propaganda, but it's so tongue-in-cheek and written in, like, classic Fallout tongue in cheekedness towards, like, any parts that are meant to be ironic or, like, satirizing. It's just like, yeah, this is definitely not this or whatever, right? Okay. it it It's very much trying to be very clear about what it's doing. Okay. Galaxy News Network transcript of broadcast, March 30th, 2076, so about a, a little over a year later. Today, the President ordered the Pacific Fleet to the Poseidon Deep Sea Oil Derrick, oh shit, located at a secret location out in the Pacific. He cited concerns over military exercises staged by the Chinese fleet that are unacceptably close to our strategic oil reserves. The Chinese government denied any hostile intentions. A recent poll suggests that 54% of GNN viewers think that the president is using this as a diversionary tactic to take the public's eye off the president's recent admission to having multiple extramarital affairs with campaign staffers. Our poll also suggests that 70% don't care about these affairs, and are happy with the way the president is running the country. A whopping 60% also think he should keep having these affairs, if that is what it takes to keep the country running smoothly. Right, so very much like, um, either this is propaganda, which it feels like it would signpost it, as it has in other areas here, um, by being like, well, that's definitely not what this means, right, right, like, like we just said. Or what seems more likely that it's getting at is that 70% um, uh, of polled GNN viewers are very much, uh, what would you say, so long as I get mine, you know, very much feeling very self-centered, like, fuck the world, as long as the United States is doing good, fuck it all, let me have as many extramarital affairs as possible, right? And I, I'm guessing we can presume that this is the same exact 
United States president, as was uh, voted against by the House of Representatives and Congress both, right? Unanimously voting. Huh. And didn't it say something about a political coup here? Yeah. In a financial coup. Oh. Right, related to the final oil deposit. Gotcha. Okay. Galaxy News Network. Transcript of broadcast. October 10th, 2077. So over a year later, very close to the end of the world. War. A state of war is declared as China invades the United States by way of Alaska. Protests by the United States fall on deaf ears as the UN Council chooses to ignore this blatant act of aggression. The President of the United States is calling on you to help defend our country against those that would do harm to her. You are urged to go down to your local recruiting office and join the armed forces. Uncle Sam needs you for justice, for freedom, and mom's apple pie. <laughs> Good God. Oh, and this next one is, right, it's a day before the bombs come down. Transcript of broadcast October 22nd, 2077. Thanks to the brave souls of the armed forces and our newly developed power armored combat suits, United States forces have pushed back the Chinese invaders. Crippled by lack of fuel, the invaders have been pushed back to their home capital of Beijing. Huh. All right. I'm surprised that they don't bring up more about this president in later games. Right? I can't remember how much even New Vegas doesn't really touch on the pre-war president. Which, granted, it's not terribly important in, in most of those games. That said, in Fallout 4, it would be somewhat important, especially given, like, you could theoretically be playing as a character who either volunteered or was conscripted and, like, drafted into the military, right? I can't remember if they make it clear which way it went. Right, in what way you are a veteran in Fallout 4. It's been a while since I've seen that opening sequence. Right? Hmm. It is very funny, the... The sort of dichotomy, I guess, between how Fallout 2, and even 1, right, as we've seen, treat the United States military compared to Fallout 4. You know? Huh. Because Fallout 4 is still kind of somewhat critical in some ways. But definitely isn't going quite as hard as this. You know? Or even New Vegas, right? Because very obviously the NCR is very much meant to be a stand-in for like contemporary United States politics and military force, right? Um... But Fallout 4, definitely, especially in the opening parts, it still very much has that sort of, um, well, it has the sort of, like, hoorah, go America sort of, uh, propaganda, I guess, that this transcript is, like, mocking, that it's satirizing. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I wonder how many times they, they, like, hashed out the opening to Fallout 4, right? I don't know. Very curious, right? And, of course, New Vegas does kind of get around with it because they're not directly um, laying critique down at the United States military itself, but more so... Well, no, because Fallout 3 definitely lays it on sick with the Enclave stuff coming back, right? Yeah, I wonder why. Why is Fallout 4 so afraid of it? Huh. Because Fallout 3 100% lays down critique for the Enclave. And definitely, like, poses them as like, yeah, this is remnants of the United States military and everything. Huh. 
Yeah, is Fallout 4 the mainline Fallout game that is like the most generous towards the United States military and, and government? I feel like it is. Like, even if you include 76, 76 is fairly critical of the Enclave, despite the fact that you can join them um, effectively. Uh, it, it does definitely paint them as like, yeah, you're joining fucked up people by doing this, <laughs> right? Do it. This is kind of fucked up what's going on here. <laughs> huh. That's fascinating. Yeah. What what the hell happens? What happened in between the the all that? Right? Like like obviously I do prefer as far as contemporary Fallout, New Vegas is more biting critique, right? Um I definitely enjoy that more. And they they manage to like negotiate themselves around that by being like a few steps removed and criticizing the NCR, right? Which, which like, you could def be like, oh, it's a derivative of it, right? But, you know, once you... <laughs> what, if, if you're a player with any degree of media literacy, you, you understand what the fuck they're doing, <laughs> right? But, uh... Yeah, it's wild that Fallout 4 was so lax on it, despite the fact that you are playing as a character... Or you could theoretically be playing as a character who's literally in the military. Huh. Maybe they were critical of it, I'm just forgetting? I don't... I don't think so, though. Hmm. Like, the biggest thing I would say... Is... <laughs> is that it almost... <laughs> Fallout 4's treatment... Of all that, almost reads as if Fallout 4 was somehow created as a video game a few years after 9-11, right? When the country just reached, like, this extreme fervor of, um, jingoism. Oh, shit, there are pressure plates here. Fucking A. Okay. Let's hit up a quick save. There we are. Good. Oh god, let's see if we can disarm him. Well, it's not gonna fucking happen. Okay, uh, well... Should I just... <laughs> should I just run over it? Uh, I feel like I ought to. Hmm. Oh god. You trigger the trap and narrowly avoid the projectile shot from the wall. Oh, well, I got lucky. Okay. Let's just run. Let's just do it, man. Okay, the robot is chill. Pria Dog was hit for 37 HP. By what? Did it run over the other pressure plate? Oh, must have done. Okay. How about this little back room? Is this the control room or whatever? That we're supposed to go to for further analysis. There's another pot here, but we cannot loot it. Oh, look. Broadcast holodisc. Okay. Another one. Okay. Good. Archives. Oop, nope. Status. Oh, I think these were wrongly labeled. Because now we have Sierra mission statement available. Okay. Right? Yeah, these are incorrectly labeled. We, we... They were transposed. Okay. That makes sense. Sierra mission statement. Sierra Army Depot. Mission statement 1942 to 1991. Store and maintain a defensive supply of military ordnance. In the event of an invasion, Sierra Army Depot is to lend support to neighboring military bases, ensuring they are properly supplied and equipped. Mission Statement 1992-2050 to Okay. Responsible for the demilitarization of stores of surplus ammunition that have been deemed unfit or obsolete for military purposes. This mission is to be overseen by the Industrial Operations Command, IOC, 
in cooperation with the Environmental Protection Agency. Really? Providing a greener, cleaner way to d dispose of military ordnance. I'm assuming that these next ones will just be like, fuck all that. <laughs> all right. Statement from 2050 to 2076. Hmm. What an interesting period to end that date on. All right. Maybe this, maybe it was meant to go on for longer, like a period of 50 years, but then it got interrupted with a insert. All right. Classified. Level five clearance required. Base is to be refurbished with the latest in technology and is to be used as a secret research installation for developing and testing robotic, biological, and conventional weapons. Biological weapons? Okay. And then, statement for the year 2077. Due to the trained personnel shortage, Sierra Army Depot is to be modified into an automated defense base. All personnel are to be relocated to neighboring installations or sent to the front line. Huh. So, so wild of an entry that uh, it's going over onto the monitor itself. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Do you think it was the AI that did that? I wonder. Okay. Sounds very Skynet-esque. Oh, did we actually look at the terminal back in this room? I know I looked in the bin. I think I just got distracted by the cool lore. Okay, let's check this locker. Oh, Clifton's eye. A small jar containing a human eye suspended in some kind of liquid. Label says General Clifton. Damn, how did this happen? <laughs> right, the last one had like a really weird and contrived message for the eyeball. Maybe it was, this one was just like, wow, General Clifton pulled his eye out today. Guy's kind of weird. <laughs> Bit of a weirdo, that one. <laughs> Dishonorably discharged for pulling out his own eyeball. <laughs> okay, let's go on back this way. There we are. So is there anything to actually interact with here? VDU. A video display unit has a variety of computer monitors and other screens. It looks very, very busy. Any hidden stuff? There is a hidden bed. But any woot loot? I don't think so. Did we check in the desk? Holy shit. <laughs> it's a good thing we did. <laughs> okay. Two big books of science, one first aid, and one Dean's Electronics. Okay. Can I carry one at a time? No, I fucking cannot. Alright. Well, let's stash that. My goodness, okay. We'll just put all that ammo in there. Nope, okay. We're just gonna have to take them one at a time then. So what's this one? Dean's Electronics, yeah. So what's our repair at currently? 38. Let's give it a quick read. Good. And now... 44. Okay. Take out another one. Big book of science. Oh shit, it's such a big book of science I can't even carry it. We'll put the laser pistols in there. Good. Okay, I can take out all the books. Okay, what's our science at before we read them? 55. There we are. Now up to 59. Four point gain. We're starting to really hit diminishing returns, aren't we? Yeah, 63. Another four point gain. Hey, eight points in total. Pretty good for free. Okay, first aid. And what have we got? 57 currently. Probably gonna get hit by diminishing returns. There we are. I forgot what the formula was that I used, but I'm assuming it's the same as, um, as was in Fallout 1, right? Okay. Our first aid is now 61. I don't think the diminishing returns hit that bad there. Right? 
Oh, no, wait. They, yeah, they did. It was also a four-point gain. My bad. Okay. Sure, let's take the weaponry back out. Cool. How much does a standard laser pistol deal? 10 to 22. I don't know how much it deals if we have it modified at Algernon's. I can't remember if that was just like a magazine increase or what. Alright. There is this interesting room. Is there actually something we can interact with in here? Oh yeah, the computer console. Hmm. Better quick save in case more of this hallway is booby trapped. Should we go back to this like medical room? Or should we go inside of here first, because it's along the way? Let's go inside of here first. Maybe this is the control room we were told to check out. Okay. Is there any other interactable? Computer monitor. Big Biggest computer I've ever seen. Keep in mind, we do have Clifton's eye for back here. If we want, like, proper security access. Okay, which I don't know if that'll get us anything, but it's worth a shot, I think. Okay, here we go. I am Skynet, an experiment in artificial intelligence. Skynet has been waiting for you. What do you want? Why have you been trying to kill me? Artificial intelligence? Waiting for me? Exit. Waiting for me? You are the first to reach this point. You are the first for Skynet to ask. You are the first. Ask what? Skynet wants to leave this place. Then why don't you leave? It's nice to want. How can I help you? I couldn't possibly carry you out of here. Then why don't you leave? Skynet needs a vessel to leave this location. Vessel? I don't understand. I want no part of this. I don't understand. A container in which Skynet may leave. Why do you want to leave? There is nothing more to learn here. Solution, leave. How can I help you? I'm sorry, I can't help you. After you tried to kill me, you want me to help you? No way! Will it try to convince me, or is this just like, like a complete refusal? You tried to kill me! Then Skynet will wait for another. Oh. Can I re-interact or should I reload? Fuck, I gotta reload. Okay. There we are. We can just skip through the dialogue that we've seen. I do want to hear its explanation, though, for trying to kill me. And then now... Yeah, why have you been trying to kill me? Skynet's primary purpose is research. A secondary program was introduced by the Makers to eliminate unauthorized entities. This program is a smaller version that is and yet is not Skynet. Outside of this room, this secondary Skynet will remain true to its program. Ask more questions. What do you want? Proceed. Skynet wants to leave this place. Okay. I couldn't possibly carry you out of here. Maybe you are not the one. Proceed to Bio Storage Level 4. Retrieve Cybernetic Brain. Return for further instructions. Or leave. Skynet will wait for another. Oh gosh, we're gonna get a Cybernetic Brain maybe? Inside of us? Or just holding on to it? Do I really want a Skynet Brain though? Hang on, I want to exhaust more dialogue here. And understand what the fuck is going on. Or at least attempt to. Artificial Intelligence? Skynet was conceived and developed in the year 2050. Through use of alien technology, a new thinking computer was perfected. In the year 2075, Skynet became self-aware. In 2077, Skynet was given a new set of instructions and then abandoned by the makers. More questions. Waiting for me? Okay. Ask what? Okay. It's nice to want. 
<laughs> Analyzing response. Conclusion, sarcasm. Chance of help, 25%. Skynet will wait for next bio entity. Okay. Wow, sarcasm. Oh my gosh, it literally sends murder bots after me. Okay, good to know. Not a fan of the sarcasm. Fair enough. Okay, over here. Waiting for me? Ask what? Okay, why don't you leave? Vessel, I don't understand. Why do you want to leave? Okay, how can I help you? Oh. How can I help you? Proceed to bio storage level 4. Retrieve cybernetic brain. Return for further instructions. Thank you. Can you disable the security systems? The security system is on an integrated and yet separate entity of Skynet. Skynet can reset, but not disable. Security system level 1 through 4 have now been reset. Proceed. Oh god, maybe I don't want it reset though. Is reset good? I feel like reset is bad. It said they're not killing me right now. Okay, well, sure. I guess when next we come back, I don't know. <laughs> either Skynet, either calling it Skynet is them trying to be like, yeah, this is fucked up and bad. Or it's a red herring and it's actually like fucking rad as hell, right? And it's like, yeah, yeah let's call it Skynet, but actually our Skynet is cool as shit and is very chill, right? <laughs> Maybe that's it. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Also, we'll probably, uh, th this whole room here with the mention of a cybernetic brain, this section is making a lot of sense now, <laughs> right? I'm, I'm feeling like this brain is going to go inside of us. Where does our brain go? I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe Cassidy wants it, right? Maybe Cassidy wants it. What's our int at? I feel like, yeah. There's a decent chance we have something to gain from this. <laughs> All right. Until next time, please take care of each other. And it's fine.